what's up guys so right now I am headed to go pick up Grayson from daycare he officially had his first day I don't know if you guys know this but well if you did see my previous uh, vlog I was kind of talking about how we were putting Grayson in daycare and I kind of snapped about his other day that he had there um, which didn't go that great Hopefully today went well. <laughs> I haven't gotten any calls from the daycare, so I think that he probably did really well. I just get nervous because like he's still young, like he's still a baby. He's only like five and a half months. Um, and I just get like nervous of the way other dogs are around him. I don't know. Um, he's not aggressive at all and he is so friendly. But it's just like it worries me the way other dogs are, you know? I got out of a doctor's appointment. I just had a checkup. I filmed today. I did my everyday makeup routine. So I'm hoping to get that video up tonight. I'm going to go home. I edited like half of it. And I meant to film two videos today. But I didn't get around to do the second one. Because I completely forgot that I had a doctor's appointment. So I just rushed to go there. It was quick. It was just like a med check. Because I'm on some medicine that I take. And I just got put on a new medicine. So my doctor just likes to check in and like see how I'm doing so really easy doctor appointment I was literally in there for like 20 minutes and left Anthony doesn't get off work until like 8 but I think he might be working out after so he probably won't be done until like 9 which I really would have loved to go work out tonight but I have a full face of makeup on and I really wanted to go home and edit my video so I can get it up tonight. So I don't think I'm going to be able to go to the gym today, but hopefully tomorrow. It is supposed to be so beautiful this week. It was gorgeous today. It was like 80 degrees. I cleaned my car this morning before I filmed. I vacuumed the whole thing. These past few months have just been flying by. Like I cannot believe it's going to be June. It's crazy. And Belle's going to be coming again in a couple weeks, so... Oh, crazy. So much going on. We're going to be so busy, but I'm really excited. And I have so many videos planned, so many things that I want to do for you guys. I really want to start doing more fashion videos too because I've gotten a lot of cute clothes and I want to film some stuff. Like, now that it's getting warmer and nicer out, I've been wanting to film some more things. I did get a package um, from this like food company they offered to send me some stuff and you guys know like I am not an at-home chef like I don't cook Anthony's the one who really cooks I wish I could wait for him but like I'm really hungry and we don't really have many groceries what's new we never have groceries but I did get sent this package of like I think three meals so I might make one of them we'll see when I get home but I also need to stop at my parents and pick up some packages because my parents said that I had three packages there and I'm hoping and praying that one of them is the Becca champagne collection by Jaclyn Hill. I'm like praying that I got it. If not, I'm probably just gonna purchase it myself, but I do get all of like Becca's new stuff. So I am like praying that I got it, especially because I couldn't go to the event that I am so upset about guys you know like I had a snap rant not really a rant but I was snapping about it it was the party the um, launch of the collection in New York and I missed it I was invited to it and I was so stoked and so excited to go and then I realized it was the same day as my beauty school open house that I already committed to and I couldn't go to the Jaclyn Hill event like I could have met so many people I could have had an amazing time and I couldn't go so I was super upset about that so I'm just praying that I get the collection so that I could just you know get something from that night and how special it was I was like stalking everyone's snapchats um Jaclyn put up like her vlog of the whole night oh my gosh it looked amazing but anyway, so about to pick up Gray and I will vlog when I get him. Oh, successful day. Did you have fun? He, um, I usually put him back in the trunk because um, he likes looking out the big window and it's his, he just sheds so much, so the hair is everywhere. I did vacuum out the whole car today, 
like I said, but I did get these um, like seat covers from Home Goods. And wait, which way am I going? I got a seatbelt thing that attaches to his leash, so it actually hooks into the seatbelt, so he can't like move around and like fall off the seat. So I got that at PetSmart. Um, so whenever like obviously whenever we don't have Bella's car seat in the back, we'll probably have him sit right there but it's he still can't jump in the car like he can't jump up I don't I don't know he's just not he's not that skilled yet uh, he can jump out like he still gets a little scared but he could jump out he just can't jump up so and he like weighs like so much now like he's freaking heavy so I have a hard time like lifting him up in the car how you doing Bubs? are you tired He's such a cutie boy. I love him. I love you. He is exhausted. I always have my parents make fun of me, but I, I mean, I don't treat him like a baby, but I like always have wipes in the car. I always have like a brush for him, um, like deodorizer spray. And I always have water bottles, like his water bowls, which I need to go get at my parents. I'm going there anyway. Because I keep forgetting, we have these like foldable bowls and I left them at my parents. So I've had to bring his glass bowl or ceramic bowl with us. Um, but yeah, then I always, I don't know, I just like, I always gotta take care of my baby. It's just how I am like I just my motherly instinct just kicks in and I am just so like a dog like I know he's gonna get dirty and I don't I don't mind but I always have to make sure he's like clean and looks pretty <laughs> not pretty handsome because he is a boy um I just always want him looking like nice and he has a beautiful coat I just always want him like looking good and smelling good I'm just very weird about especially my house like I don't know if you guys are like this but I, I clean every day and you guys probably saw that in my previous vlog like or I showed you guys a little bit of my cleaning routine like I vacuum every single day I clean every day the downstairs just like us having a dog I just feel like I need to clean every day and I hate if the house like smells I just have I just have a I'm just very weird. I just need the house smelling good at all times. That's why I have an obsession with candles. Anyways, I'm talking too much. It's just been a while since I've talked to you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop over my parents. I don't know if they're even there, but I just need to pick up my packages and get my mail and get his stuff. Um, we might be having a barbecue or like a cookout at my parents this weekend or we might be going to Six Flags. I'm not sure. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh, good boy. Good boys. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, so I'm home now. I'm about to unbox some packages that I got, and I have no idea who this is from. I have no idea what it is, so I'm going to open it up and find out. Oh, it's Kendra. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that they contacted me. Wow. <gasps> you guys know I just did it a um a whole hair care routine on my main channel and they sent me a bunch of products. I always get their stuff at Cosmoprof. I'm obsessed with Kenra hair products. They are amazing. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Okay, so let's see what I got. Ooh, the Revive Complex. Love that. Blow dry spray, another one of my absolute favorites. All my clients and myself. What is this? Frizz control leave-in treatment. This nice. is the primer smoothing spray. This is the Revive Oil, kind of like the Revive treatment. 
the dry shampoo. I don't know if I've tried Kenner dry shampoo. Not sure. This is the Ultra Freeze Spray Ultimate Hold Hairspray. And then this is the Volume Spray, which I've tried before too. Awesome. Oh my God. So much. And this package is from Becca, which I was praying for. And I'm, I'm hoping it's the champagne collection, but could be wrong. Let me put it on the floor. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh, she looks gorgeous in this picture. This is such a great picture. Love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I wanna do like a whole video on this entire collection. Do you guys wanna see that? Let me know. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of people doing it, but I'm still gonna do it anyway just cause I'm so excited about this. Oh my God, this packaging though, like what? <gasps> absolutely gorgeous I'm in love the, um, face and then this is the eye palette and then this is the liquid champagne pop I think um yeah and then I believe there's two regular champagne pop maybe champagne pop and then is there a little champagne pop yes it's all the pricing of everything the palette, the eye palette's $40, pretty good. And the face palette's 52, that's actually a really good price. I'm gonna see the size of it right now. Wow, yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> I'm so excited! Oh my gosh. This is the eye palette, so. These are what the colors look like. Really beautiful. <gasps> okay, now I got a Snapchat. All right, so this is the food service that I was talking about that I got the package from. It's called Hello Fresh. It's so basically it came with three meals. I kind of just like looked through here. And um, okay, it says, what are menu preferences? The recipes under 60, 650 calories each week. Set your preferences to receive well-balanced meals that are quick to prep and serve so you can spend more time with your loved ones. Variety, chef's choice, beef-free, pork-free, seafood-free. That's nice. They do have a vegan option as well. I ended up getting, I think, like the regular box. So this is the first one, and I think I'm gonna make this right now because I'm kind of feeling a salad. These are all the ingredients, and it says prep time, 10 minutes, and total um, to make the meal is 30 minutes, which is pretty good. Nut-free, gluten-free, shows you how to prep the meal and cook everything. It says like the tools that you'll need, ingredients, um, how many people if you want to serve, two people or four people. Wow, pretty detailed. And then this is the other meals. There's a tomato garlic ragu. It is a pan-seared pork. I feel like this is probably gonna be really good for me. Especially when I'm just feeding two people or I mean it's different. I think you can get family sizes too. This is just for the two or four people um, one, but This is great if you're not very like Experienced in cooking and it just gives you all the ingredients. You don't need to go out and buy Stuff at the grocery store. Um, it just sends everything to you Everything that you would need and then yeah, basically just gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it so all right I am going to start cooking. So this is one of the boxes. It's pretty small, but it has all the ingredients in here. And this is obviously the chopped chicken salad. And then it came with two more of these boxes with the other meals. So I'm gonna open this up and see my ingredients. Cilantro, some red onion, an avocado, looks like a red pepper, should probably get a, uh, oh, this is cumin, oregano, southwest blend, and then there's a lime, tomato, sour cream, oh wow, it comes with a lot, and then some lettuce. And then this is the chicken, I had it in the freezer, um, and it's uh, all just natural, 
Murray's chicken breast. So uh, this looks like it needs to be defrosted. I like completely forgot about this. So I'm going to defrost this and then I'll probably just prep all of the veggies and everything that I need. I'll just follow the instructions. So let me get organized. All right, so um, it says I need a baking sheet, large pan, large bowl, and a medium bowl. So I have all of that here, large bowl, medium baking bowl. sheets, and large pan. So, I am not going to read all through this with you guys because it's probably going to be pretty boring, but I will kind of show you as I go along. Okay, so I'm done. Mine doesn't look much like the picture, but it is good. First of all, I'm not that skilled in the kitchen. Like, I even have a hard time cutting things. I feel like the avocado was so hard for me to do. I actually didn't even end up cutting up the extra half because it was just frustrating me. Um, I was good with the chicken and like the chopped up um, vegetables that I just needed to put it in the oven that cooked perfectly the chicken tastes so good I had a really hard time making the dressing which was the avocado lime dressing because the avocado wasn't ripe enough um, it was really hard and I feel like that was one of the reasons why I had such a hard time opening it and I tried to mix and like mash it into the bowl with a fork and I couldn't even mash the diced pieces because it was kind of hard um, like the avocado was actually hard and it wasn't ripe enough so it wasn't like soft for me to mix so my dressing isn't really a dressing it's more of just random pieces of avocado in there soaked in lime and the cilantro um, with the sour cream salt and pepper lime juice I love bell peppers oh my god and these onions are probably so good mmm Yeah. The chicken is so good too. Sorry, people are probably gonna be like, you shouldn't eat on camera. Um, the avocado was just a struggle for me. Other than that, everything was pretty good. For the tomato, I ended up using this like chopper thing. And then, yeah, you do need olive oil or any type of cooking thing that you would like. So they have that in the package that it comes with, but it does say that you have to drizzle olive oil in the pan and on the cooking sheets. Um, so that's another thing that you would need. I just get the one, the organic one from Target. Um, I already had that and I had salt and pepper. So like those are two things that, or three things that you would need. Also like a zester. I don't have a zester the lemon um not the lemon <laughs> the lime zest and I don't have a zester so um just a few like tools like cooking tools but if you guys like have like all the cooking tools then you should be totally fine like to do these types of things um it's just great to have you know the whole meal and all the ingredients to your house that way you don't need to grocery shop and you don't need to plan out meals because the meals are just in the book here I'm gonna finish eating and go edit my video. If you guys are interested in these types of food services, I will have a link below, like I said. Um, I'm probably gonna try that other dish tomorrow, or maybe even tonight. <laughs> I'm going to clean up. I made a huge mess, so I'm gonna clean up and uh, eat the rest of this. Well, not all of it. I'm gonna save some for Anthony for after work. 
guys quickly the website hopefully you can see good I'm just filming my computer right now but it's just hellofresh.com if you go up to our boxes it shows the veggie box classic box or family box I just got the classic box um, I believe that this one is a vegan option and it shows you the prices and how many it serves so when you click on, for instance, the classic box, um, it says for how many people do you order, and then how many meals would you like to receive per week, and then gives you the price. If you guys so, are interested in this service or getting these meal boxes, um, you can sign up on HelloFresh. There will be a link below and a promo code for you guys to get $35 off your first week of deliveries. So definitely check it out if you are interested. They also have their recipes up here as well. So you can check them out too. 